Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm at McLaren Philadelphia taking a closer look at the new Elva, a car inspired by heritage and engineered to defy convention. The Elva is an easy drive, it's thrilling. A full sensory roadster with 804 horsepower and the lightest road car ever produced by McLaren. You'll be exposed to the elements, but the sights, sounds, and smells of an open cockpit, they'll connect you to the road in a machine designed for nothing less than the pleasure of driving. We'll be investigating some of the performance features that make this vehicle such a rare experience and review the Elva's basic operational functions for owners and enthusiasts alike. Let's get started. First, how to get in. There are two latch release buttons on the inside of either door. One is higher up toward the end of the door. The other is on the door's vents. These aluminum vents also serve as the handles for opening and closing the door from the inside. If you're looking to adjust your seats, there's a slide release at the bottom center of both seats and an electronic switch on the bottom left that adjusts the height and angle of the seat. The rotational axis for these motorized joints is actually at the heel of the accelerator, meaning an adjustment mid-drive won't disrupt the placement of your foot on the pedal. Let's start it up. position quad exhaust isn't just for books. The very positions grant access to a complex frequency range. The Elva composes its own unmistakable tune befitting its unorthodox design. McLaren's newest instrument cluster allows for complete command of the drive experience you want without removing your hands from the steering wheel. Dual aluminum rocker switches can cycle handling and powertrain independently through three modes, comfort, sport, and track. Manual mode can now be entered through the push button on the center of the powertrain switch. The button on the handling switch turns electronic stability control on and off. Beneath the steering wheel on the left side is a joystick for adjusting the steering column. Since air management is so crucial to the Elva, this adjuster moves the wheel and the instrument cluster together. Down here, we also have the parking brake and the latch release for our rear compartment. Just hold down the button until the panel pops up. There's dedicated space for your Elva helmet back here, as well as your rain cover, which we'll show you how to install later in this video. This is also where you will fill up your gas tank. To close, push down the panel center until you hear a click. A note on safety. McLaren has developed helmets and protective glasses for the Elva. Helmets can be ordered through your dealer. They offer high peripheral vision, are designed to be in the airstream created by the Elva, and include a spoiler to produce downforce that keeps your helmet on. Two pairs of glasses come with each Elva and have dedicated storage bays embedded in the carbon fiber door sills. They look simple, but make no mistake, they can handle the job. The transition lenses are graded to deflect military shrapnel. And the frame is anodized aluminum, which is high strength and moldable to create an optimal snug fit for every user. Moving to the right of the steering wheel, the lift control is on the end of the lever here. Click in while stationary or at low speeds to raise the front of the car. Click in again to lower it back down. Then there's the arrow button for raising and lowering the rear wing, the side mirror switch, and finally, the Active Air Management System toggle, or AMS for short. When AMS is engaged, an air reflector rises out of the hood and a valve opens in the nose of the car, creating a large intake that funnels air through a duct and flows up and out of the Elvis hood just behind the reflector. While only in the duct for a second, airflow exits the duct having been rotated 130 degrees and maintaining its velocity. The system creates a bubble of air around the Elvis cockpit that profoundly decreases the force of airflow hitting the driver and passenger. It's strong enough to repel small insects and yes, even rain. The system is naturally off and can be activated while driving at speeds up to 43 miles per hour. Top speed is restricted to 124 miles per hour while AMS is on. The rule of thumb is to wear the Elva glasses with the active AMS and to wear a helmet when the AMS is disengaged. 
The AMS also has a cleaning mode so the intake duct and reflector can be accessed while the car is stationary. Turn on the car's power, but not the engine, and hold down the AMS button until the reflector is fully extended. To exit the cleaning mode, hold down the AMS button again until the reflector has completely lowered back into the hood. Using the infotainment center, you can control auxiliary functions, air conditioning, music, variable drift control, navigation settings, etc. On the side of the screen is a dial that controls music volume. It can be pressed in to return your screen to its main menu. Elvis Sound System is a marine spec designed by Harman. In other words, the system was made for yachts. It's waterproof and cuts through the noise floor created by wind. Speaking of weather protection, the seats are made of ultra fabric, a completely weather resistant luxury synthetic with a leather feel. The switch gears are splash resistant, the speakers, like I said, are waterproof, and with AMS, very little rain will make it inside. Over on the hood of the car, you'll see a small panel. Press in on the top to open it, and there's your steering and brake fluid. Your trickle charger inserts in the passenger footwell. Now, let's put on the rain cover. I have McLaren brand manager Chad Sear with us to show how to put the Elva rain cover on. Chad, thanks, Evan. Yes, so with every Elva, you get a rain cover in case of emergency. Uh, there will be eight contact points on each Elva where the uh, cover attaches to. So you first line up with the uh, cooling ports in the back. Moving up, there'll be two spots to latch under the side carbon fiber intake. Two more that go around uh, the mirror. And then finally, the last two contact points are up front at the AAMS. Elva is a daring roadster, lightweight and powerful, open and precise, engineered for unity with fast, winding back roads. If you get the opportunity, drive it. As always, thanks for tuning in. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials, walkarounds, and highlights. I'll see you out on the road.